There you have it. The first batch of images from the James Webb Telescope has reinvigorated space exploration and the search for galaxies far beyond ours. And with Canada's contribution to the telescope, which has helped rise to the ranks in the global space race. So I'd like to bring in Dr. Jan Ehrenberg, Chief Mission Architect, Science and Robotic Exploration, Northrop Grumman, and Professor René Doyon, Professor of Physics, University of Montreal. So Jan, you said I may call you that. Yes. First, yes. what is the newest, latest that we've learned from Webb? So I think the, the thing that's the newest is the telescope continues to surprise us. Uh, our ability to see things that have never been uh, detected uh, before is uh, is the hallmark of, of the, the the baby steps of this instrument. Uh, as uh, scientists learn how to use this even better, I can only imagine uh, the discoveries yet to come. And Professor Duyon, what questions about the universe are being answered so far? You know, things confirmed and unconfirmed. Well, I mean, w one of the big uh, missions for Webb is to understand how galaxies form and when they form. And already we have observations. And in fact, the very first observation we got from the, in the back in July gave us very in important uh, uh, information on that. And it's just the beginning. And another thing that we're very keen to do about, and we're very much focused on that here in my team in Montreal, this is exoplanet atmosphere. So we're trying to detect uh, water and other molecules on planets that are very similar to Earth. So these are the big missions that Webb uh, quite Questions that Webb would try to answer. And Jan, Webb was truly a global collaboration. So, can you elaborate on the process to actually bring this to fruition from continent to continent? Yes, yes, it's a it's a huge effort amongst uh, NASA, the European Space Agency, and of course, uh, the Canadian Space Agency. Hundreds of of companies uh, in probably a dozen and a half uh, countries over a dozen time zones. Northrop. Myself, my team, uh, all of my colleagues were absolutely thrilled to be involved and help lead this amazing, uh, broad inter-organizational team. It really brings home uh, what we can do together uh, if we reach across organizations, across countries, uh, we can truly make the amazing happen. And Professor Doyon, we are absolutely excited about the role of Canadians in Webb. So can you please talk about the contributions of Canadians to this project? Well, first, Webb has four science instruments, and Canada has one of them. And actually, it's, it's two instruments in one box. It's about the size of, of a washing machine. And uh, uh, one, on one side, it's a, non, it's a non scientific function, but nonetheless very critical. So, we, this is called the fine garden sensor. And th its purpose is to really keep the observing point uh, very, very sharply to its target all the time. And on the back side of it, we have an infrared camera that can do images and also uh, take spectroscopic data to study things like you know, early galaxies in the universe and also exoplanet atmosphere. So, and all four science instruments have very complementary way of doing very similar things. And as I said, Big missions is you know, early galaxies, the first light, and uh, exoplanet atmospheres, and many, many, many um, other things. So, in short, Canada has a very important and critical contribution to this mission. Uh, Jan, what's yes. next with all of this? So, we're already studying the missions after next. The next great NASA telescope, the Roman Space Telescope, is in assembly uh, at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, and. We in the United States, uh, along with our national and international partners, are already looking at uh, the next great observatory to detect uh, uh, Earth-like planets around other stars and do other great uh, astrophysics uh, breakthrough work. Uh, and that will be due in the, in the late 20s and uh, early 30s. And Professor Doyon, we have about 30 seconds left, but I'd like for you to talk about how younger generations, you know, right here in Canada can, you know, get more involved in web uh, or learn about their future careers as, as scientists. Well, they are already working. I mean, we already have data from Webb, and it's it's, it's amazing they, these data. And we have young people working. I had a, an undergraduate, uh, a young talented woman this, this summer working with me. Uh, she's from the University of Calgary, 
Me and uh, she's I haven't read it yet, but yet yeah, she's continued very strongly to this mission. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, all graduate student, P, uh, postdoctoral fellows, they are very much involved in analyzing this data, and there's a lot to do. And so, for me, that's the next big step. But as Jan, uh, Jonathan mentioned, uh, we have to think about the next big mission because it takes a while to to take these projects. Web was, you know, a 20-year and, and, and endeavor. Jan and Professor Doyon, yes. thank you very much for your time this morning.